hi guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been mia for a while and before i get back to my regular upload schedule schedule i just um felt the need to come in here and just let you guys know what's been going on with me my truth and why i haven't been uploading um so guys if you are new year then you know that i'm currently pregnant um and it's just a lot a lot has been going on um with this pandemic and my pregnancy i'm not sure if it if it's a pregnancy hormones that's making it worse i'm i'm not sure but uh guys for me to be doing this it take it's gonna take a lot because if you know me personally you know i'm a very private person i do not like letting people in and i don't know but um doing this because i know a lot of persons are currently pregnant and they possibly might be going through the same thing that i'm going through so maybe just me putting it out there might help somebody i don't know um because i know a lot of evil people are on the internet and they love to criticize people i'm not looking for anybody's sympathy and anybody's criticism but you can leave a prayer and a word of encouragement that will be helpful now um with the pandemic I, guys I don't mind being home like if you know me I'm a, I'm a homebody like I'd rather be home than out and about but I do like going out every once in a while I I really do miss going to church I miss socializing with people I miss my family I just miss being out I miss being able to go to the beach to see a movie or just um, even as simple as going out to eat is just so much and this last few months it has been really hard it has been hard it's been draining and i just have not been motivated to get out of bed and just and film because it's just so much thoughts going through my my head the fact that i'm now expecting my second child my family possibly won't be able to meet my child until he or she is one year old it's just so draining um my i miss my mom so much the fact that i can't see her it's it's heartbreaking especially now that she's currently not feeling well and i'm not there to comfort her or whatever it's just it's it's really hard Sorry, guys. and I know friends and family they call me or they text me and they're like how are you doing is all everything okay and I'll be like yeah yeah I'm fine but really deep down like I am not okay it's really taking a, a drain on my mental health and I'm just an emotional wreck and honestly just my daughter and the lord is what's keeping me sane currently right now like i did not expect the pandemic to have lasted this long like i knew it was going to continue throughout 2020 but i thought it would be over by now and i don't know if it's the emotions of the pregnancy along with being quarantined not being able to do the stuff i love or just the freedom to just go out and out and about i'm not sure if, if that's it missing human contact it's just it's just so frustrating guys and I don't even know it's just so much I don't even know where to start or even to begin and I don't want to sit here and ramble and bore you guys 
because I know human beings get bored really easily. But I don't know. There's just so much you can stay home and do. Um, watch TV, listen to music, talk to the Lord. It's just not not much I can do at home anymore. It's just it's it's really taking a toll on me, and I'm sure my daughter feels the same way. I mean, she's trapped in the house as much as I am. It's it's really depressing, guys. And if if you're a mom, especially a stay-at-home mom, even if you're not a stay-at-home mom, I'm sure many parents, both men and women, have experienced being a stay-at-home parent for the past couple of months due to the pandemic. And you know, like I love my daughter. I love her to death. Like, she's my world, she's my peace, she's my joy, she's my comforter, she's my laughter. Oh, she's, she's my cup of tea. Like, she's my best friend. Like, whenever I'm feeling down, she always puts a smile on my face. Like, she's the sweetest little girl in the world. But it gets draining just being, I've been stuck in the house with her for, for over the past year. Like, 24-7 day in day out and i would love to get an hour to myself it's, if it's even an hour to if it's even one day of the week once a week just to self-isolate and just to get some self-care self self-love for myself and that's me saying that it's not being selfish no but i don't think i need that just an hour at least one hour a week for myself just to reflect on whatever so it's it's not saying that i don't love her i'm tired of her that's that's not the case because she is my world but i do need feel like i need an hour for myself if, if it is once a week maybe get a mani or a petty or, or, or something and it's even more frustrating because I am on social media daily and I watch the news and I see pers people people out there just being unruly not following authority not following the rules the guidelines that they put in place so that this thing could possibly speed up and be over with fast and they're just going about enjoying themselves and ain't nothing wrong with that because i understand it's it's really frustrating being stuck in the house and not being able to go anywhere and do it and do the things that you used to do like a normal human being but at the same time Persons who do that, they are being selfish. They are being selfish and they're not thinking about others. Especially people like myself or their family members. Like we are we are trying to do the right thing. We are trying to quarantine. We're trying to keep our distance. We're trying to we are massing stuff, stay inside. And you just want to be out there doing whatever. And just make just keep spreading this thing and, and, and it's getting out of control. What about people like myself? We want to be out there too. We want to be outside. We want to be able to do the things that we used to do, but we can't. And for the selfish people that are breaking the rules, because I just think that's just pure, pure selfishness. Breaking the rules. To just do whatever i mean it's heartbreaking it's frustrating it's depressing and i'm just tired and that's that's one of that's one of the reasons why i haven't been uploading because i haven't been motivated to do anything because i'm just i'm just an emotional wreck
currently and as i said before the last couple of months have been really hard and draining both physically and mental and mentally but i am going to get up get out of bed get dressed and start filming again for you guys because i know a lot of people wondering been wondering what's happening what is what I've, what i've been up to um is everything well baby is well baby is healthy um we recently did our 20 weeks anatomy scan um everything was fine however we have to go back next week for a follow-up um, scan just because the doctor said she couldn't see the baby's heart properly and I believe it was the spine so we have to go back for that because um, baby was moving baby was just moving non-stop that's the difference between the baby and Tiana because Tiana would like be in one position and and close her legs and everything but this baby was just moving non-stop throughout the entire um, scan baby was moving we do know the gender so i will be doing a gender reveal and i'm gonna keep you guys posted up on my weekly pregnancy updates i need to catch up like a lot <laughs> to tell you my past symptoms and what i'm currently experiencing so that will be in another video and then i'll do the gender reveal for you guys and um yeah just stick around if you guys um are is interested in seeing more content like it please leave a comment down below let me know what your interests are what you sorry what you will be <clears throat> interested in seeing and if you haven't subscribed subscribed please consider doing so i love to have you join the community and yeah thank you guys so so much for sticking through and listening to me rumbling telling y'all my business like this is very rare and i probably won't do this again guys but i just felt like just letting you guys know because other mommies out there might be feeling the same way that i'm feeling currently and the pandemic is really hard quarantine it, it's just it's it's a bit too much now and i'll be glad when it's over with and there's the, to think about the fact that they're saying that we're going to have to continue wearing masks up until next year and and maybe beyond that it's just it's just too much but guys thank you so so much for listening to me if you made it this far that is ever for don't forget to leave a comment down below subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one thank you